It's Kevin Williams here on ShoreSportsNetwork.com, and today we're talking softball because the number one team in all of New Jersey is from right here, not only in the Shore, but in Tom's River. Of course, it is Donovan Catholic High School, and we're delighted to be joined by their coach, Debbie Schwartz, and their outstanding senior, Alexa Pagano, and talk a little bit about the Griffins. And Debbie, I will start with you as we record this. You're an undefeated team. You're ranked number one in the state. I have to ask you about the pressure that goes with that, uh, knowing that everyone would like to be the team to sort of hand you that first loss. Well, obviously, being undefeated is, it does have a lot of pressure with it. But to be honest with you, we were in the same position last year. We got into the Shore Conference Tournament, and we were beaten the first round. And it kind of took the pressure off, but uh, it was kind of a devastating loss. And we learned a lot of lessons in that loss, and I think we're carrying those lessons into this season. All right, so speaking of lessons, and I'll follow up with you, Alexa, You've had a lot of relatively easy games during the course of the season, but a real challenge against Middletown North, a team you could see uh, down the road in the Shore Conference Tournament. A game you won 3-2. to two. Does winning a game like that, is that help you as you get ready for the tournament when you know there's a lot of good teams out there? Yeah, I mean, we don't look past any team or any game. We give our 100 on every team in every game. So to have that a good competitive team, was, I think it was amazing for us because now we get to, as we come to the end of the season, the more it serious it gets and the more you want to win so badly. So having that competition is great. You know, your program comes with great expectations now, and certainly you were in that position at Tom's of Rees for many years, but this is even, I think, even more magnified. Last year you went so far, came within one victory of winning everything, uh, still had a phenomenal year, I think 27-2. and two. This year you started in the catbird position, you've been there all year long. How do you think the girls have handled that, knowing that every time they play, they're going to get the other team's best? Yeah, you know what, we went out early and we did play the best. We played uh, Immaculate Heart Academy. We played uh, the, the runner-up for the TOC last year, um, Immaculate Lodi. So uh, we put together a very rigorous schedule in the beginning of the year, went out to Ohio and played two of the top teams in the state of Ohio. And we were tested there as well. Um, and that preparation, I think, is going to help us tremendously at the end of the season. I've got to ask you, too, about your pitcher, and we'll talk about a couple of players, but obviously softball is a sport predicated on you have to have that one really good pitcher. Mm -hmm. You have one. We do have one, but we have more than one. So we're, we're lucky. You know, uh, Lindsey Nelson has been our go-to person for the last three years, and we've prepped Kate Mulcahy, who's um, really done a lot of really good work for us this year. And we have two other pitchers, um, Sam Martin and uh, Taylor Murphy, who, is all, who, is, who have also stepped in and helped us uh, tremendously in our season. So um, Lindsay is a crafty lefty. Uh, she's picked up speed this year. She's a very confident person. She's rested, and she's ready to go. Yeah, I was going to say, by having that kind of depth in your pitching staff, that has to help you. For example, we're talking, we're getting to a time of year where not only they all big games, weather becomes a factor with games backing up and all that. You can't just get through with one arm, right? Um, a lot of teams do. <laughs> we're fortunate that we do have that, those kids that are just chomping on the bit to, to get on the mound. So, uh, but we're very, very fortunate to have um, Lindsay and that caliber of pitcher in our program. Alexa, you're one of only four seniors on the roster. It's a relatively young team. It's amazing how many quality juniors and sophomores. But as a senior, do you feel like your role has changed this year, that you have to not just be an outstanding player shortstop, but you've got to be a leader on and off the field? Yeah, I mean, we played with each other for a long time, and our dream was to go to the same high school together. So when we made it happen, and we were a young team, as you said, since like since my sophomore year. So I think sophomore year, you had to step up. But now senior year, it's your last year. You want to do the best you can. You're trying your hardest all the time. So every practice, every day, like before, we just, all four seniors, we give it 100%. We always ask coach what's going on. We always make sure everybody's okay. and Because, you know, we only want the best for everybody. Now you have, like many of your teammates, you've already made a college commitment. Mm -hmm. Uh, and some of those teammates are younger, mm -hmm. but uh, you as a senior of, I think, Florida International University made that before this season or yeah. early in the season? I made it um, end of my sophomore year. Okay. Oh, so, you, so you've had these couple of years knowing. Has that been able to make you relax a little bit more and not have to worry um, about that? In, in high school ball, I think it's 
it's always a competition, so we don't look um, where you're going or what you're doing because any girl could be have any softball like experience or anything. So a lot of the girls on the team are Division One commits. I think we have ten or nine, and we don't we don't wear our co our college shirts to practice. You know, we wear Don and stuff to practice because that's what we're focused on at this time. So like, we don't really focus on the future. We will when it gets there, but for now, we're really focused on the season. Debbie, is that unusual to have so many Division I commits and a lot of them at a young age? Yes. Um, it's truly amazing. I've never had it in my career. So, and you're seeing the success on the field. We're, you know, 22 and 0 right now. And, you know, it, every game, another kid is stepping up. So, um, in the Middletown North, you mentioned it was Amanda McBurney. It ironically hit her 100th hit, game winning hit against a very, very good Middletown North team. So, yeah, we're really exciting to watch, um, and it's an exciting bunch of kids, and what a great group of kids that I'm working with. You have been around the sport for a long time. 25 years at Tom's River High School East with great success, 501 wins, I believe, there. You just won your 600th career game uh, in April of this year, but are you surprised at how quick this program is built in the, at Donovan Catholic? I really am. You know, we got into Donovan Catholic that first year. We had 12 girls on the team. It was, it was just unbelievable. But Joe Gamoka, our athletic director, is just such a great support for all of the athletics in, in that school. And he just made a lot of really good decisions with field, you know, field maintenance and uh, just making our uh, program uh, attractive to players. So who would want to come to the school? So fortunately enough, a lot of them came. So, you know, we're reaping the benefits of that. All right, so now for you, you're a senior. It's really crunch time now. A uh, short conference tournament gets underway this week. You have a bye. Uh, you're scheduled, I believe, to play on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Who knows with the weather? Uh, but that's an event. Coach said last year you got upset in the early rounds by Madawan. I would think that you'd like to have a little better run this time around. Yeah, I think like Coach said, she said we were taking our, our losses and our experiences into this year because we were all the same we are all the same team from last year. So I think we remember the short conference stuff. So this short conference, when it comes down to it, again we're gonna give it our all like we always do. We're not changing anything, we're gonna give it our hundred percent. You know, I know it's one game at a time and I guess you learned that last year, right? Uh, it's one game at a time, but as those of us in the media, it's our nature to look ahead. You're the number one seed, St. John Vianney, the defending champions, and the number two team in the state is the number two seed. It's a very strong possibility you'll play them in the finals, and it could be the first of two meetings with them because you're in the same section in the state tournament, which starts the week after. Boy, there's some great softball coming up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, St. John Vianney is a great program. Um, I have a tremendous respect for their coach, Kim Lombardi, and we've enjoyed a, 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 a fun rivalry. Um, <laughs> You know, but uh, they're going to be a team that will test us, and uh, they're a very good team. Um, and again, we have to play our best to beat the best. So, And it's got to be a bit of a challenge knowing that maybe the best other team in the state is right in your conference. It's not like you don't see them for another three weeks. I mean, they're right there, and I mean, Middletown North is ranked. I mean, there's really quality teams right here that you've got to get past just to win the short conference tournament. Yeah, you know, the, the short conference is loaded with great softball, and that's a great thing for our area. We have a lot of kids that are, um, like you said before, committed to major uh, colleges, and that makes great softball for the end of the season. We all have to get into the pool and play, you know, swim with each other, you know. So it's, uh, we're excited. You know, Alexa, do you kind of feel like winning and anything less than winning at all this year will be somewhat of a disappointment. I'm sure your team has such lofty goals after what happened last year. Uh, I mean, you could be a better team than last year and theoretically win less championships because of how good the competition is. How do you view that going in? Um, you know, obviously, I think every team's goal is to win everything, you know? <laughs> and that's why in practice, we prepare ourselves for every situation. So I think, I think it's a blessing that we have so many great teams we're about to face because that's only going to prepare us for n next year, even though we won't be a part of it, but next year we'll always support, and um, coming to the end of the season, I think the more we're prepared, the more we'll be ready for those tough games. We should at least mention, I mean, we can't mention everyone, but let's mention the seniors, because I have a feeling you and I will yeah. have a conversation next year about next year's team, so let's talk about the seniors who provide so much leadership to your program. Well, uh, Alexa Piano, shortstop, four-year varsity starter, um, tremendous athlete, uh, tremendous leader. Um, lead off pattern. So she sets the tone in every game. So doing a fantastic job this year. 
Uh, we have Katie Vasquez, who is our, who's also been with us for three years, and uh, she's a, a unbelievable and outstanding defensive catcher, and um, and providing such a great um, offensive threat uh, this year. Uh, stepped up in a big way, came through, has come through in so many big games. Um, we're so blessed to have her on the other part of you know Lindsay and uh, and Katie. A great arm. She's just tough. Yeah. We have Kate. We have uh, Grace Leone, who is plays a lot of catching. She catches as well, which has helped the both of them stay rested. So such a fortunate person to have two catchers in that are elite catchers in our program. And then finally, we have uh, Amanda McBurney. Um, she plays every position with the exception of pitching and catching for us. So we start her as our DP, but she plays defensively the entire game. So I've had her at third base, I've had her at shortstop, I've had her at second base, first base, and all outfield positions. So we're so fortunate to have that kind of talent in our program and these senior leaders that are really unbelievable. And having gone to see you play a couple weeks ago against Pineland, you're not afraid to go to the bench. I mean, yeah. you use a lot of girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I got to ask you the important question. So, who's the who's the one on the team that keeps you loose? Is there that one character? I mean, every team usually has one. I was just uh, talking about this with the girls. I think we all play our role in each section of the game. So, like pre-game, I feel like it's Lindsay Hay. She dances, she gets us all going, right? Before the game, it's always like Lindsay Nelson. She's very determined. She, like she wants she wants to get that first inning. She wants to get it started, blah blah. And then throughout each inning, it's different girls like Kate Mulcahy she gets and Liv, Olivia Fink and Kate Well they get everybody really fired up in the dugout so it helps us so much when we're in the field or when we're hitting so I think everyone plays an important role so I don't think it's like there's a spotlight on one person I think that's what makes us great. Is it almost hard for you to comprehend that I'm sure you're looking forward to college and Florida but is it almost hard for you to comprehend that within the next couple of weeks two or three weeks like you're going to put on the Donovan Catholic uniform for the last time? It's sad, you know, and I think, again, it's a blessing that we've had such, uh, I had such a great experience, and I know it's not over yet, so I think we're, we're holding on to that, you know, and um, I'll never let it go. It's been an experience of a lifetime. I know for all four seniors, we're going to be so upset again, we played together for so long, so I think that's why we want to do big things, because we don't want to pull this diamond jersey off just yet. <laughs> Alexa Pagano, thanks for spending some time with us. Enjoy the rest of your senior year and hopefully the ultimate championship in early June. Thank you. Debbie, congratulations on all you've accomplished building two programs. And this one looks like it's a pretty fun ride, isn't it? It is. It's so enjoyable. Debbie, Great kids. Debbie Schwartz, the head softball coach at Donovan Catholic and senior shortstop Alexa Pagano. We'll follow Donovan Catholic through the state tournament and the Shore Conference tournament right here on ShoreSportsNetwork.com.